Can vegetarian diets hinder athletic performance? What does the evidence show and what are the tools that you can do right now to improve your overall health, physical fitness, and help the environment at the same time? So when we talk about vegetarian diets, we already know that there's tremendous amount of benefits to your overall health. What are they? Simple things like just adopting a vegan and vegetarian diet can lower your risk of cardiovascular disease by 13%. Ischemic heart disease can go down by 19% and things like diabetes, the risk for diabetes can go down by as much as 62%. Even your overall cancer incidence goes down by 18%. And if you're thinking of trying to do your part for the environment, switching to a vegetarian or vegan diet can actually improve and lower greenhouse gas emissions by as much as 63%. So Overall, vegetarian and vegan diets aren't just good for your health, they're also good for helping the planet as well. Now the question that always comes up is, somehow people believe that by switching to a vegetarian or vegan diet, they're not going to get enough protein and they're going to basically hinder their ability to lift as much or run as fast or any kind of physical activity that they're doing. So what does the data show? Well, when it comes to athletic performance, the data shows that there's actually no difference between vegetarian and meat-based diets when it comes to strength or power, or even aerobic or anaerobic performance. And there's already sufficient data that I've talked about in previous videos that shows that you will definitely meet or exceed your protein requirements. So you don't have to worry about being protein deficient on a vegetarian or vegan diet. But the question always comes up is, is that if I did that and there is no difference, then maybe I should just stay with a meat-based diet. Well, here's the thing. The studies that were done so far have been very small. They were lasting anywhere between days to as much as 12 weeks. But as we get long-term studies, we're going to see that vegetarian and vegan diets actually have some very cool qualities about them. And those qualities include, number one, that they tend to be higher in carbohydrates. Higher carbohydrates can actually help to improve your glycogen stores and help you in performance, both short-term and long-term activities. Also, they tend to be higher in antioxidants and phytonutrients, and these can play a role not just in short-term but long-term recovery from strenuous workouts. And the last thing that tends to be quite important is that vegetarian and vegan diets tend to be higher in their alkaline concentration. Meat-based diets tend to be higher in acidity, and we know that acid, especially intramuscular acidity, is one of those rate limiting steps, especially when you're doing high intensity exercise. So there's a lot of thought that people who are using more of a vegetarian, vegan, whole foods diet, they may be able to over long term be able to have better buffering of the acid and this may translate into better performance as well as better recovery. So bottom line, if you're going to do something that's good for you, good for the planet and may actually help you in physical activity, then switching to more whole foods is definitely the way to go. As always, thanks so much for checking us out and don't forget to share, like and subscribe on social media, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.